In this video, I'm going to show you how to retire with 500K uh, in doing it, finding opportunities in real estate investing. I'll show you how to go and find and negotiate deals and find deals for real estate investing so that the $500,000 we're talking about can turn into potentially a couple million, but hopefully uh, $5 million. Very, very uh, easy concept to understand, but the execution of it is the purpose of this video. We will go ahead and make phone calls, negotiate with sellers, turn those sellers into lenders, and then make small down payments, break the 500,000 into down payments of around 10% per property, thus turning the 500,000 into 10 times what it's worth, which is $5 million. And we can do that uh, if we are willing to put in the work and get there as fast as possible. Now I get it that most people will be 50s, 60s, 70s. Uh, and sometimes, you know, at that age, you aren't able to or have the inclination to work uh, the way you perhaps did in, you know, teenage years or, uh, you know, 20s. And you don't need to uh, because there are people like me who put in the work and we can join venture on the deal, make it profitable, make sure that uh, we are finding cons consistent deals uh, to generate retirement income, what I call cash flow in real estate. So first thing we have to do is get you to like and subscribe to my channel. And then I'm going to explain now how we can go ahead and um, and break, break it down, what we're looking for. So we go after people who are not listed on the MLS or with an agent. The goal here is to find discounted properties. And also, if they don't discount them, maybe they can fund the deal for us. But ideally, we want both. We want a discount. And we want the seller to finance that property. That way we don't have to qualify for a mortgage uh, with a bank. Uh, a seller will never ask for a, a credit, <laughs> credit check. They, they never will. I've never heard of anybody asking uh, to run our credit to give us a seller carry on a piece of property. And that's our goal here. We are going to be asking these sellers to finance these deals for us and give us a discount. It's very hard to get both and we don't need to get both. As long as they're willing to finance the property for us, we are in great, great shape. I explained a little bit better uh, scenario yesterday. I put out two videos yesterday, uh, which should be in this playlist. Uh, and this is week 21 of uh, a one year uh, vlog that I've been releasing every week for 21 weeks. And this is day number five, day number five. So we are going to start making phone calls right now. Uh, and I want you to continue to watch my videos so you can get familiar with how to talk to these these sellers so uh let's start calling them uh and as we move along through these calls i will continue to explain what we are doing so that you can do the same or you can come in and participate in the deals that we are uh, reaching out to okay so we are i go into my system here where i have the people that we have reached out to and they have indicated that they are interested in selling. So I'm just um, uh, loading them up into my dialer and I'm going to call them. 
Uh, and as I call them, I'm trying to build a little rapport and then that will give me kind of like a direction as to how to pitch either getting a discount. I want to get it for at least 10, 20 or 30% discount, kind of like a clearance at a department store, or uh, I want to, I want to get, uh, get them to finance it to, uh, to me. Uh, let's see here. Uh, go on to so the properties I'm calling is we have already reached out to them in the past. Our team has, and for whatever reason, we marked these properties as dead. We haven't. We thought there was no opportunity, so I'm just going through them to make sure that they really are dead opportunities. And even though I've been going through them, I've been finding potential deals here as well. So let's get started here. Lehigh Acres, first one. I don't know if you can hear it ringing. Uh, this is a vacant lot in Florida. Hello. Hey, good morning. Uh, this is Ben. Is this uh, uh, Ms. Bosch? No. No, I was looking for Raymond. Well, that's not the name. Uh, so there's no Raymond here? Yeah, who is this and what do you want? My, my, my name is Ben, and I was calling you back uh, about uh, your property there in Lehigh Acres. Oh, okay. Hang on a second. I to get my husband. Hang on, please. Thank you, ma'am. Raymond! Raymond! Okay. He's outside somewhere. Can you call back? Sure, sure. I can do that. No problem. Yeah, give him about well, 15 minutes or so, okay? 15 minutes. You got it. Thank you, ma'am. And the last name is not Bosch. His last name is Colin Arrow. Colin Arrow. Oh. Okay. Yes. I will. I will update okay. my records. I apologize. Okay. 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 We'll talk in a bit. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. So, gotta make notes now on my CRM to make sure that we are um, calling back here. Okay. Appointment um, set. Okay. Next. Are not available now. Please read your name, email, phone number after the beep. No answer. Okay. Move on to the next one. Hey, Mark. Yes, I was looking for Mr. Mark. Uh, Mark, Mark Foreman. Yeah, yeah, this is him. 
Yeah, how you doing, Mark? Uh, this is Ben. I was calling you back about uh, your property there in Lehigh. You had spoken to my assistant. And I wanted oh, to yeah. see if you were still moving forward and trying to sell it. Yeah, how much would, would you people offer? Uh, well, we don't we don't make offers. Um, I just kind of wanted to see how much you wanted. Oh, I see. But, well, hold on to your seat. We paid eighty four thousand for one of those properties and fifty eight for the other. Eighty four and fifty eight. It's right on the lake. It's right on the lake. Are you familiar with those properties? Yes, yes, I am. Yeah. It's almost a third of an acre, and it sit both of them sit right on that lake, um, green green briar lake. Okay, and what were you planning on doing? Building? We were, but uh, we um bought a a uh, waterfront condo on the uh, on the river instead. Oh, okay, that's nice. So we are looking to sell it, and I don't know if you know or not, but um, there was huge uh, talk about turning it into Greenbrier. I mean, into Lakes Park East. Oh, so it would be a heard. tremendous boost mm -hmm. over there. Yeah, Lakes Park East. Mm -hmm. You might want to check into that. That's okay. why we're not we're not taking a penny less than what we paid for each one of those properties. Okay, so tell me the price again for each. Eighty four thousand for one. The other one was fifty eight. Fifty eight. Okay. Okay. So if we were to buy both of them, what? How much do you mm -hmm. think uh, you want? Uh, well, we have to take very close to what we paid for it. We, you know, we're in no rush to sell it. Gotcha. Okay. That's for sure. You know, we we could do maybe a hundred and six. Let's say, um, um, you know, maybe a hundred and forty thousand for yeah. both. Hundred and forty thousand for both. That would be a loss for us. We might consider that. Okay. Okay. Do you know anything about uh, the utilities? If uh, what we have to do, I assume septic and and a, a well. Uh, and what about the electrical? Yeah, I believe it's um. Did well that you might want to double check on that. I don't, I'm not too sure mm. on that. Okay. Okay, and you said uh, you you uh the the least you do is one forty for both. Oh yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if uh. If I were to give you the 140 for both, would you be open to helping me with the financing? Um, I'd have to talk to my wife about that. Okay. Um, she's the one that runs the show, you know. Um, yeah. And we'll see what we can do on that, you know. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to, you know, uh, let me see, I had your number. Yeah, I do have your number on my machine. I, you know, I can have her call you when she gets back. She's okay. doing a CPR class right now. Sure, sure. About That'll two work. hours from now. Yeah, we'll get. What is your name again? Uh, my name is Ben. Okay, Ben. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah B E N. Okay, like short, be... short for Benjamin. Yeah, I to take an educated guess on what you would say, you would probably say no. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Well, you guys kind of think about it, you know, talk about it. Uh, it would, uh, yeah, we'd, uh, I have your number. So when mm -hmm. she gets back, I can discuss that with her. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. No problem. Right. Uh, I appreciate your yeah, time. Have you seen those properties? Mm -hmm. Have you seen the properties? No, 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 I have no. not seen them. I'm right now. I'm in, uh, I'm actually on the other side of the, uh, the state. I'm in, uh, just, just oh. south of, uh, West Palm. Yeah. Well, you know, um, and it looks like it's going to be a go. If that becomes Lake Park East, it's going to be, um, you know, uh, worth a lot more. Yeah, I believe. You know, so uh, might be something you know, might want to consider. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, yeah. I've been looking for yeah, something, something it, solid. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. No, I appreciate you, Mark, and looking and, forward to hearing back from uh, your wife uh, and uh, you guys. Let me yeah. know. Is this your cell phone number? Uh, this is my business can you number. Call me yeah, but I can text. Business I can text number. from here. It's it goes to my cell.
Oh, that's right. Okay, yep. great. Well, all right. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You got it. Thank you, Mark. We'll Thanks. talk soon, okay? Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye. Uh, they have two of them. K. Two K. They won't take a penny unless they. Both. I asked for seller financing and he said his wife would have to call me back. And that's all we do. We just pitch and say, if you, if, if you give us uh, our price, we can give you cash. But if we give you your price, we have to make payments on it. And that's pretty much the secret to real estate is making sure that the financing is the most important part. Uh, so... Okay, next. Lehigh Acres again. Yes, good morning. Uh, this is Ben. Is this Marsha? Yeah, can you hear me, Marsha? Yeah, this is Ben. How are you? Hey, who is this? Uh, this is Ben. We had, you had spoken to my assistant about your property there in Lehigh Acres. Not me, my dear. Not my daughter. My daughter, she's not here. Your daughter. Okay, okay. Marsha it, both, right? Say again. What's this person's name? Marcia Bowser? Yes. No, she's not here. She's not my daughter. She's on the street. No. You can call her on her phone, please. Okay. What is her phone? Her phone. I don't hear. I don't even remember this. But don't you speak to her all the time? What is God do your name? I can tell her who we call. Yeah, yeah. My name is Ben, and I was calling about her property uh, in Lehigh Acres. Ben, Ben. Yeah, yeah, yes, Ben, right. Ben, B-E-N. Okay, well, I'll give her the message when you come back, okay? Okay, thank you. Welcome. Mm -hmm, bye bye. Give her daughter. Called, okay. Okay, this is also Lehigh Acres. Oh, property sold. Hey, Vern, how's it going? This is Ben. How you doing? Good, good. I was calling you back about uh, your... Um, your properties there in uh, Lehigh Acres. Uh, see if you still wanted to sell them. I sold that a year ago. I thought you had two. I sold them both. Oh, sold them both together. Oh, gotcha. together, yeah. together. Oh, I apologize. Okay, well, sounds good. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. you have a good day. Bye. 
sold and uh, okay. Seven, two, four, five, three. Okay. Hello. Hey, Michael, how's it going? Good morning. This is Ben. Yeah, can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah, how you doing? This is Ben. Ben? Yes, yes, I was calling you back about your properties there in Lehigh Acres. Yeah, mm -hmm. Yeah, just wanted to see if you still wanted to move forward in selling them. Yeah, same price. What's the price I give you? Uh, let me see. You had said... You had said twenty five thousand. That was March twenty third, twenty twenty. I mean twenty twenty two. March twenty third. Mm hmm. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you, do you have someone interested in buying it for twenty five? Say again. Are you interested in buying it for twenty five? Well, I was interested. I was interested in buying it. Uh, I I could buy it several several different ways. Uh, we can do cash is not is not a problem, but it's typically the lowest offer. Uh, sometimes you even can uh, can buy it on payments or take over your debt if you have debt. I don't think you do. Uh, or we can even lease it from you for a time and then cash you out. Uh, I say all of that because uh, I wanted to just kind of explain very quickly that uh, if I give you cash, the, the most I can give you would be probably 7,000 cash today, done deal, move on. But if you wanted 30, I can, I can come in and figure out a way to actually give you the 30, no problem, but it's just going to have to be a little bit more creative. Right, uh, if you're able to help me with the financing. Help me with the financing. Yeah, if, if I can make payments to you over time, uh, then I can definitely give you the 30. What kind of payment? Uh, if, I can pay, time? Yeah, if I can pay you monthly, uh, I'd be able to do it, no problem. How much you can pay a month? Uh, let's see. Well, let me ask you a question. How, how long of a term would you be willing to give me? Are you willing to, you know, most houses, 30 years, stuff like that, but this is not a house. So we have to do less than 30 years. So the question would be how, how long will you give me to pay this off? Would you do 10 years? 10 years? Mm-hmm. Okay. How long would you do? I don't know. I've never thought of that. So that's something I have to think about. I can give you an answer right now. Sure. Okay. You know I mean? Would that's you not something I've ever sure. considered at all? Would you consider would you consider five years? I don't know. I have to check with your wife and see what she says about that. She'll have to have she'll have to agree to that. Well. Sure, sure. Let me let me do um, a little math. If we did Let's say we do five years, and and I gave you thirty. Uh, well, I can even give you thirty-five if you agree to more than more than five years. But let's just keep it at five. Five years, thirty. So if I do a quick little math here, um, I can do. Let's see here. That'll be sixty months. Uh, and so we did. So I could give you five hundred dollars a month. And what kind of collateral would you put in that? Uh, 
the, the property is the collateral. And as we build on the property, because we're going to build, going to put a house on there, or unless we can put like a duplex or something like that, uh, as we're putting money into the property, if, if we at some point default, then everything that we've done goes to you. So you, you, what you get, you get an improved property with some sort of building on it, permits, et, et cetera, et cetera. And you just do it again, but now you can sell it for more. And you get to keep all the monthly payments we made to you every single month. Let's just say we default at year number three. Uh, by then, there's probably going to be a house on there. Uh, then uh, you start all over again. You can keep the house. You can go ahead and sell it. Yeah, yeah, I'm an investor. Yeah, I'm an investor. Mm -hmm. That's that's fine. No problem. And and I, I'm happy to uh, to help you there if you have questions. Um, I've I've done many many transactions where. You know, somebody was going to sell their house, for example, and uh, they were going to take the money, let's say $100,000, they were going to put in the bank and the bank, and then they were going to put into like a CD or something, paying them like 1% or something per year. Uh, we can do a lot better than that, way better, you know, so in many cases, it's not beneficial to take the cash and just having that cash sitting in the bank. It's much better. That's why I told you if we can do like 10 years, then I can give you for sure more than more than 30. That is that is a fact. I can give you a lot more to reflect the, a higher interest, a higher higher yield than you would have if you took the money and put it in the bank. So uh, think about it. If I have if you have any questions, I'm always here. I'm calling you from my 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 phone. So you can always reach me here. You can text me uh, and uh, talk it over to, uh, with your wife. If it works out, great. If not, you know, there's other stuff we can do. I'm always uh, open to uh, new opportunities. But my job here is not to take advantage of people. My, my job here is to make sure that everybody uh, is treated fairly. And everybody's, you know, has, has something. You get what you want. We get what we want. Everybody's happy. Are you from that? Uh, right now, I'm just south of West Palm Beach. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got it, Michael. Maybe I can do a follow-up, uh, say, uh, in, a, in a couple days after the weekend. See what you thought? Yeah, sure. Okay. No problem, no pressure. Uh, just uh, trying to make sure that it, it works out for everybody. So I appreciate your time. You have a good weekend, okay? Okay, man. Thank right. you, Mike. Bye bye. So he is interested. Okay. Offered him seven K cash or five year seller finance. 35k 10 year 10 year so fine he said it was inter interesting and like If you could think about it, we'll call him back in a couple 
of days. Okay. So that was one so far this today. Uh, let's see here. Um, okay, okay. Fantastic. So that's how it's done. It's like, we'll give you cash. Cash is at a premium. So instead of 30, you'll get seven today. Or you get... 30,000 if you give me five years. Did you see how he never asked for my credit? He never asked for me to qualify, to see my job history, to see anything like that. They never do. I've never one time have I had a seller ask me for a credit check like a bank does. Never, never. And these people are better to get financing from because they are the owners. A bank is it's just it's just a bank, you know, they're not connected to the property at all. So that's what we do all day. And this is a dead lead. So these are very hard calls that I am making here today. Uh, so this is exactly how you grow your portfolio from five hundred thousand dollars to five million dollars because. Say he agrees, he didn't ask for anything down, right? So you're not even touching your, your, uh, your portfolio. And yeah, we can build it, but um, i much rather take that piece of paper, go to a builder that is actually building. And I have a video last week. I found a builder. I called a builder because I thought she was just a regular seller. Uh, and she says, yeah, if you have something... I'll buy it. I know how to build here. I already have the relationships with the county and, and stuff like that. Uh, and she'll buy anything here. So if I go to her and say, hey, look here, you know, you can build on this property and you don't have, all you have to do is just pay 500 bucks a month. And I can even probably get tax. I mean, ta uh, get a payment, payment uh, deferments on this for maybe the first six months. So go ahead and, and, and get everything set up. And then after six months, you start paying this guy, you know, 500 bucks a month. Uh, and, you know, you have a year, two years, five years, you know, no, to finish the house and go ahead and sell it, cash him out, you know, pay him or sell it with that note or whatever, you know, the guy will keep getting 500 bucks a month, you know, second mortgage. So, uh, uh, but it's just better in that situation to cash him out. So that way we got the land, we built the property, we did everything we had to do. We sold the property, three, $400,000 in the area. Uh, it's very close to Fort Myers. So it's really nice. Uh, go ahead and take, you know, the remaining balance, balance. It might be 25,000, uh, maybe 20,000, pay the guy off and you're done. You're done. So, so that's a good system. So we could do that. And we get a fee and you, we keep adding, you know, that's how you keep growing $500,000. So it's very, very easy, but we have to be willing to put in the work, make the phone calls, negotiate with the sellers as I'm doing today. I'm showing you that's the purpose of these videos. I'm not looking for a ton of views. I am just looking to help people and document what I'm doing. Yes. Hello, Arthur. Thank you. Not a very good gatekeeper. I muted it.
Hello, this is Arch. Hey, Arch, how's it going? This is Ben. I was calling you about uh, that property, calling you back in uh, Lehigh Acres. Uh, Lehigh Acres. Yeah, yep. Uh, 908 Matic Street. Yeah. Yep. Wanted to see if you still wanted to move forward in selling it. No, no. I don't have no interest in selling it right now. Oh, okay. Okay. I was under the impression that you did. Okay. Uh, so you're just going to keep it? Well, we might, uh, might eventually just build on it. I don't know. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So you got plans yeah. for it. Okay. What what are the what are they selling for now? Uh well it, it depends. Uh houses are, are uh not selling for as much once you build on because uh, the economy is doing a little bit of a trick there, but uh uh we are we have bought a few there for anywhere for from uh six to ten, twelve. Uh, I guess uh, people put them on the market for around 25-ish, sit on the market for a while, uh, but uh, end up selling it for about 20. Yeah, so, yeah I, think, I think that's, uh, uh, mine is the commissions, of course. Yeah. Yeah, so, so. Uh, yeah, we're just going to sit on it for a while and see. Mm -hmm. We were talking the other day about maybe just go ahead and build a house. Gotcha, gotcha. How long have you have you had it? How long? Uh, I don't remember. No, it's been several years. I don't know what's that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe two, five. Five years. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's 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 uh, there's a lot there's a lot of properties, uh, vacant lots in the area, as you know. A lot yeah. of people had been building, but now with the slowdown of the economy, they're not building as much. Uh, I'm looking to build myself, but uh, you know, uh, wouldn't keep it. You know, just go ahead and put a house on it, and then go ahead and put it in the market. Uh, but uh, you know, it's a little bit uh, trickier to do uh, in this environment right now. Yeah, you don't know where we're going to go. <laughs> yeah, but it should be older. Yeah. The yeah. Things, things will come down soon. I think they ever will, you know, as far as the price to build a house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, what does it cost to build a, like a three-bedroom house? Well, right now, what uh, I'm looking at, and I have other buddies of mine that are building, so anywhere between the, the, the best guy, a friend of mine, he can build, uh, or we can build through him uh, for about 200000 right now. He can do that, 200000 uh, but uh, typically, other builders are building for about two, two ten to two forty or fifty. Yeah. It just just depends on the finishes, you know that type of stuff, and what you want, yeah. how you want it to look. Uh, so yeah, huh. that's yeah. right. That's right. Then, um, uh, so I'm talking basic. You know, it, it's still nice, but just pretty much basic. Um, the uh, the waiting times are a little bit uh, a little bit tricky as well because uh, there's there's uh, a year to two year waiting time for approval of permits and stuff so so that also gets a little bit tricky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, are there a lot of properties for sale with houses? I'm talking new homes. Uh, there's not a lot of inventory for that. The majority of the inventory is the uh, the vacant properties, the vacant land. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah, I don't think I can wait two years. <laughs> yeah. Age, I mean, I'm old enough to build this 
<laughs> oh man, man, uh, you, you you don't you don't sound you don't sound too old. You sound pretty young. Yeah, my wife was asking me how much the locks were selling for right now. Mm-hmm. Probably about. Yeah, yeah, probably. I mean, my my sweet spot just to kind of be safe. You know, we we probably could do, we could do maybe eight, and that is like today. Uh, if if uh, like I mentioned, if you were listed, probably listed for, you can probably list it for forty five, but end up selling for about twenty minus the commission. That's that's pretty much the scenario. Uh, but then uh, the, then the question is, how long is it going to take? I mean, houses right now. Or sitting on the market right now, the 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 average house in the area is selling in like seven eight months. That's a house. Uh, in the average the average uh, lot that's put on the market is selling. Uh, you know, if they put it up for forty five, for example, the, it, it will probably sit on the market for a, at least a, a year, at least. But pretty much end up selling in in a couple years, maybe a year and a half. Uh, and that's only because people got frustrated and they just said, you know, forget it. Let's just drop the price and get rid of it because they did. They got frustrated that, it, you know, there was activity, but they couldn't sell. So that that's pretty much what I'm seeing. Uh huh. Um, the commission is. Um, I mean, it, it won't go. You won't find it below three percent. But a lot of agents in the area want six percent because, it, and then you have to find a, 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 an agent that wants to take on a listing like this because they know that they have to do a ton of work and and let's say it sells for let's say 25 middle of the road uh you know and if they get they get say five percent i mean they're barely they're barely clearing you know a couple hundred dollars so so they they just don't want to do a lot of work for it so they have to increase the commission so i would say you would probably pay 5% commission and then the paperwork is, is, is another story because you have to pull the title. So the title company has to do all of the work that they would have to do for a regular house, right? So they pull the title, they underwrite it, all this kind of stuff. And that typically is about $200, 200 to $500. So you can find probably somebody to do it for 250, something like that. So, um, uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're looking at about clearing, maybe, maybe I would say clearing, uh, 18,000, uh, after, like I said, a year, year and a half of, uh, kind of going through the motions. That is if the market doesn't change. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, you never know. You never know. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Okay. And we'll keep it in case all of a sudden we decide to do something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I will go ahead and send you the email. Um, just to recap real quick and what I'm going to include in the email is we don't, we don't, uh, the benefit of going through us is we don't have to, you don't have to go through any hoops at all. Uh, we know the area. We have a system and a plan. And so, you know, it's a calculated risk. It is a risk for us. But the benefit to you is you get cash. And if there's any problems and they become our problem, we just make sure that you, you get your, your money, you go your way, and then we take on the project. So I will include that on the email. Uh, and uh, I will put my phone number, the business line, and my cell as well on that email. 
And then whenever you guys, you know, you can talk about it. And uh, if you have any questions, you know, you can call me or text me or whatnot. I'd be happy to answer. Okay. All right, then. Yeah. Yeah, send us the email. And, uh, do you, you also, you sell houses? Yes. Yes, we. Uh, Very good. Mm -hmm. Yep. We, we buy and sell. Okay. Mm -hmm. We do also yeah, commercial, we, we do houses, we do land. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. I guess my house right now, um, interest rates would be what? Interest rates, you're looking at about seven something. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not a good time to buy. Right, right. It's uh, unless, mm -hmm. unless it keeps going up. <laughs> uh, that that that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> it just depends on what you what you look at. You know the yeah the uh, the interest rates. I I think you know that they, they will continue to go up. So because they haven't done anything. I mean, the the main reason I guess that they were, as you know. Uh, looking to increase the interest rates was to to deal with the inflation problem, but the inflation has not been affected at all. So they're, they're going to keep hiking it up until, you know, that they, they kind of get a handle on the inflation. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, it's been way up there before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Well, uh, yeah, uh, email us your, your info. We'll, we'll uh, keep it. Okay. In, uh, in case we uh, decide to take a weekend, come at the week down there and look around and keep up the guy. Yeah, sounds good. No problem. I'll go ahead and do that today, and uh, I'll be I'll be here whenever you guys uh, make a decision. No problem. Oh, okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arch. Appreciate you. Yeah, and 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 say uh, thanks to your wife as well. My, from yeah, thanks. Will. Appreciate it. Okay. All right. Have a good day. Thank thanks. Bye. Bye. You too. Thanks. <clears throat> I think he will do it. Offered a thousand. What retail retail price would be kind of explained the environment is interested in just being done with it yes to present an email so I will send an agreement I'm going to just send an agreement, see if, uh, if we can get him. Uh, I will do one. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to schedule myself. Uh, that's two. That's two potential. This one we can get for cash. And then the other we can get for seller financing. Okay, so. He asked to send him email. 
now. But I send the agreement. Okay. Okay, so I created a task here. So now what we have to do now is uh, send them the email, which I will do later. No need for you guys to watch me do that. You heard the, uh, the call. So I'm gonna move on to the next one here. Yeah, I'm looking for Karen. Uh, that's my wife. Can I help you? Oh, sure, sure. Sure, apologies. Uh, yeah, my name is Ben. Uh, I was calling you back about uh, your property there in Lehigh Acres. You had spoken to my assistant, and I wanted to check in and see if you were still interested in selling it moving forward. Well, we were, we were only interested back at the height of the market if it was the height of the market i don't think you guys are in that market you're trying to do something else with it so probably not i mean I'm, i would imagine the value is less than what it was so, uh yeah I mean, definitely mm -hmm. yeah so probably not you can probably take us off your list we're gonna hold on to it okay are you planning on building too uh possibly in the future right now we live in the orlando area so we don't we don't need it so okay uh but that's that's something we might do in the, in the town of road yeah well we buy we buy property in several different ways uh cash is not a problem and i think that before we talked about cash but that's typically going to be the lowest offer um but we also can do other stuff i think at the when you spoke to my assistant you guys talked about somewhere between 15 and 20, I think is from what I see in the notes. We might be able to do that. Uh, that's still a possibility, but we have to get a little bit more creative with that. And I say all of that to see if uh, you were, if we were to move forward, we might be able to give you what you want if you are uh, open to, to, uh, to kind of exploring those ideas. Okay. I mean, just, Generally, what does that mean? I mean, you're, you're being very vague. What, what does it mean to, what are the other options? Yeah, we, we buy, we buy sometimes, you know, we can lease it and that includes land as well. Uh, we can take over your debt. You don't have debt here, but sometimes we give that option or we can make pay payments to you over time, build a house on it. Then as soon as it's built, we sell it and then cash you out. Yeah, uh, that was something I suggested that she doesn't she's pretty pretty conservative she doesn't want to do that i i to me that was the route to go for us mm -hmm. if we weren't going to keep it as to just uh, build a build something on it and sell it that way because most people yeah. don't have the effort the time the knowledge the imagination to build one out if you get one three quarters they'll buy it right uh but we're probably just going to hold on to it for now i don't i don't think we're going to do anything with it we've got a, a few other things we're you know, we've got live hitting us in other ways, so we're not really mm. concerned about it. There's no debt on it. There's nothing there that's uh, pushing us to move on it. Okay. But I appreciate the follow-up. No problem. No problem. And listen, keep my phone number if you talk to your okay. wife and and, uh, and you guys. And we're not in a rush. You guys are not in a rush. We're not in a rush either. So so no, no harm in kind of keeping each other's information and then possibly in the future things might change. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, sir. Bye. 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 So that was pitch number five or six today. It failed. It didn't land, and that's okay. <laughs> I don't have an issue with it. Uh, told him. Okay. Cash. 
or 22. Okay. On payments, he say, suggested that to the wife and she said no. So he will have to convince her. We'll check later. We'll check on that later. So for now, we'll leave it as dead. Okay. So this property here is a is a house I'm calling right now. And it is in New Orleans, which we have to be really careful there with the flooding and stuff. Hi, this is Trina. No answer. Okay. This one here is in Michigan. It's a it's a house. It's a three bedroom, one bathroom house. Uh, it's not sold, so hopefully we can do a good deal here. But this is how how it uh, it goes. You just call and find opportunities. Turn you know your retirement account into Please leave your message for into real estate. That's what we're trying to accomplish here, so that instead of relying on the stock market or whatnot and keeping it in those accounts. We rely on rental property. We rely on real estate. Hello. Yes. Uh, yeah, may I speak yeah. to, uh, yeah, is this Winston? Uh, hung up. I should not have asked that. I couldn't identify his phone number. Right away, so. Hey Otto, how you doing? This is Ben. Hey Ben, what can I do for you? Yeah, I was just calling you back about your property there in uh, Fort Myers. See if you were still planning on selling it and see if you wanted to move forward. Nope, not interested. Not interested, okay. Okay, uh, is, is it okay if I check with you in the future some sometime a few months from now? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. No problem. Well, I appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. I think I caught him at the wrong time. So, not in a mood to negotiate there. Pittsburgh, let's see here. Uh, it's a uh, Three bedroom, one bath. Let's see. Not sold. Carl. Hi. Please leave your name and number. 
Okay. Okay, so no answer, but we have three good potential solid deals today. Not urgent. I haven't really uh, seen an urgent one today, but um, they were they were pretty uh, pretty solid. We keep following up, you know, uh, so. Okay, Wisconsin. Who uh, do we have? Okay, sold. All right, so I'm going to. Okay, that one's sold. So let's see. Check out the next. This is back in Florida, vacant land again. Okay. 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 The mailbox is full and cannot accept any mm. messages at this time. Goodbye. Okay, not answering here. And feel free to uh, forward a little bit, but sometimes in between calls, I'll say, you know, something important. So use your best judgment on there. New Jersey, okay. Hello, 
Hello. Hey, good morning, um, Olga. This is Ben. How are you? What are you calling about? I was calling about uh, your your property. We, we you spoken no, to I'm my assistant. I'm not sitting. Sorry, I'm very busy. Okay, no problem. No problem. Shut up. <laughs> All right, so leave it there. Dead leads. Okay. New Hampshire, okay. Betty, they can't come to the phone right now because you leave them a name, number, and a brief message so that that can't. Thank you. Jim and Betty. Oh, good clay. Opportunity. Well, try them. Later as well. Okay, so no answer here. Okay, Cape Coral. Uh, let's see if it's sold. Yep, it's gone. They sold it for 50K. Okay, let's see here. I'm thinking I'm going to show you now some uh, some cold calls and see if um, we can get somebody from here. These are even slower phone calls. As I said, we have to put in the time. We so far have gotten pretty good opportunities so far. So um, I don't mind spending a little time here with you guys and showing you a little bit of a cold calling uh, session. So let me, let me just go in here, smartphone. I'm just gonna log in real quick and show you the calling system here. It was not working yesterday and I haven't tried it since, so I hope it works now. Uh, logging in, it looks good. Uh, okay. I think it is going to, yep, logs me in. Pretty good, so now I'm gonna call Pre foreclosures, these are people that might be losing their properties here soon. So uh, I'm gonna try and see if we uh, get somebody here. Okay. It's calling, so this, we cannot hear the ring because it's, uh, 
it's a triple dialer, triple line dialer. And, uh, and it's so it is dialing the background. So it's dialing right now, three people at a time. And so I'm just seeing the screen here. Hi, you've reached Heather Block. I can't get the phone at the moment. Heather, I can hand Heather. me your name and number, and I'll call you back as soon as I can. Have a great day. So that's a wrong number. Primarily, we're going to get a ton of wrong phone numbers here. So <laughs> that's the name of the game. is why I wanted to show you that. Hello. Yes, hello. Uh, am I speaking to uh, uh, the B Ber Bernazar family? I was looking for Anthony. He's not available. Can I answer the message? Uh, sure, sure. I was calling, and maybe you might know this. I, I was doing a little research on uh, public record. And I see that you guys are behind on your mortgage payments. Just wanted to see if you were aware of that. Um, yes, is there something that I can help you with? I thought it was maybe for my kids' school because you called back to back to back. Um, but I'm currently at work. Oh, okay, okay. Well, no, maybe there's a better time to, to, uh, to speak with you. It was just about your back payments. Uh, I might be able to help you with that if you guys are having a little bit of a uh, financial problem trying to pay them. So I'll take their number down and I'll let um, Anthony know. Sure. That'll work. Right. Thank you. Thanks. So it sounds like it might be a possibility. She will let Anthony know that we might be able to help catch up payments. Okay. Move on to the next. It's dialing. Yes, hello, Chris. Uh, is this Crystal? Yeah, hi, Crystal. Uh, my name is Ben. I wanted to just uh, see if, if you were aware. I was doing a little bit of uh, research at the county, and it appears that you uh, the, the bank flagged you for being behind on your mortgage payments. Uh, were you aware of that? Aware of what? I can barely hear you. Uh, yep, uh, I said that the bank had flagged you for being for being uh, late on your mortgage payments, and I was calling to see if uh, I could offer assistance with that. Yeah, that information is incorrect, sir. You know, I'm not interested in selling my house. It's up to date, and payments are on time. I'm not sure where you got that from, but I would appreciate it if you did not call me. Thank you. Okay, thank you. That's how it goes. Um, okay.
Next, all right. Hello, Matt. Hello, Matt. Uh, how are you? This is Ben. Ben, I'm doing well. What can I do for you, buddy? Oh, fantastic, fantastic. I am not sure if I got the right information here from the county, but uh, uh, the, the county, I guess the, the, the bank had flagged you for being be behind on your mortgage payments. Uh, did I get that correctly, or is that incorrect? That, that is incorrect. That's really interesting to hear. Where did you see that at? Uh, the county. I don't have a mortgage. I have a 3152 South on the Avenue, and I have. I was buying on mortgage payments on that house years ago. Years ago, it's wow. done and paid off now. Oh my goodness! Okay, okay. So maybe you're seeing it from um, back in the day. Maybe so. Maybe. Well, either way, are you an investor? Uh, no, I'm. I mean, I am. Good idea. I own a small uh, mechanical HVAC company. Uh, that mm. was actually that condo was actually my first house that I lived in, and I bought a bought an actual house right around the corner from there. And, um, I just rent that out currently. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so it's your landlording. Okay, <laughs> it's fun. It's a fun Let me business. ask you, are you? Because I want to figure out what that is. Because I get a lot of calls lately about people wanting to buy it. And now that all makes sense to me. That if you guys are looking through county records and it's saying it's behind on mortgage payments, mm -hmm. what do you just just so just to help me out so I can sure. go to Orange County and get that cleared up and maybe not get um not don't take it the wrong way but not sure. get thirty of these calls a day. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're getting like thirty of them. Wow. Oh, dude, it's outrageous. I mean, I'm telling you, they'll call till 11 o'clock at night, but You're kidding. That's, that's nah, amazing. I'm not kidding at all. And I mean, you seem like a pretty nice guy. But I appreciate that. You just drive me nuts. Sure. You know, but, sure. But no. anyway, the Orange County website. So I tell you, I tell you how it's, it's, uh, it's picked up. So, so what most people do is they get a little service called, uh, called uh, either prop stream. So prop is short for property. So prop stream dot uh -huh. And, and then that website is a very, very large website. And what it does, it allows people to, to find potentially delinquent mortgages. So I think that, the, that the, uh, the data has been very inaccurate on that website lately. And that's causing a lot of people to, uh, uh, to call you all the time. I, I was not aware it was to the level that you're talking about. That's insane. Oh, yeah. It's crazy, man. I get yeah. so many of them. And I own another house. The, the house I live in currently, it's right around the corner from that. Not and sure. I never get called about that. And I'm wondering, well, how come they never call about this one? And now it all makes sense because yep. they've got it. Yeah, that was a long time ago that I was delinquent on that when I was younger and still trying to figure life out. And stuff. That's, <laughs> that's, that's been paid off for quite a while now. So. Wow. Well, man, I, I hope that helped you. Uh, yeah, you can look it up. If you if you go on YouTube and you just type the name PropStream, you will see kind of like uh, how how people get the information to uh, to go ahead and, and contact people. And yeah, I have seen that a lot. That a lot of the information on there is very, very inaccurate uh, and it's very old. I think that's what it is. It's just very outdated. Well, listen, man, I really appreciate the info. I'll save your number then. Ben, right? Yep, yep, Ben, B-E-N, yep. And if I ever do decide to, to, to sell it, uh, you know, I appreciate the info. I'll give you a call. I'll save your number uh, when the day comes. I am ready to sell that thing. Oh, I appreciate that, Matt. Thank you so much. All right, buddy. Take Have care. a good day. Thanks. Likewise. That's how you do it, folks. Uh, you can you can see that uh, he gets like 30 calls a day, and that's pretty much uh, getting bombarded with um, – phone calls and you're just real just just I, I told him exactly what we do
<laughs> you appreciated it. So, so that's always a good thing is to be friends. And he is a landlord and he owns a couple properties. So he's going to save my phone number. So that's, that's fantastic. Uh, but unfortunately that is a, uh, a no go. <clears throat> Okay, so yeah, this data is very, very inaccurate. Okay, so the dialer is dialing, doing its thing. Yes, can, can I couldn't hear you. What did you say? Oh, wow. Where am I calling? Uh, tomorrow. What is that? A restaurant? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was, I was trying to find Cecil. Is there a Cecil Boozer working here? Uh, no. No. Okay. Well, I apologize. Thank you. No worries. Have a good one. Likewise. Bye. Hi, thank you for your call. Please leave a detailed message and I will get back to you at my earliest convenience. Have a wonderful day. Hello, to access your mailbox, press pound. To leave a message for someone on the system, enter their number. Hello. Yes, hello. hello. Is Yep, uh is this Marius? Calling. Uh this is Ben. I was just uh giving you a call. How you doing? Uh, it surprised me because that's my last name as well. My my last name is Marius. <laughs> hey, what's this call in reference to? Yep. Uh well, I was just calling. I was doing a little bit of research um and uh, you, it seems like the, the bank has flagged you for being behind on your mortgage payments and uh, wanted to see if there was a way. Correct, man. Bye. Have a good day. Okay. Never okay. Call me again, okay? Maybe it's a different property. Okay.
Hello. Hi. Uh, wh what did you say? Uh, I, I was calling. Uh, I don't last time asked him what he was saying in the red circle. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's not gonna be. Uh, I was looking for uh, I was looking for Troy. Troy Brown is. Oh, no, you called the wrong number. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks. All right, so that's the life of a cold caller getting yelled at, getting called all kinds of names, telling. Uh, we've only, we've only, um, um, we've only gotten probably one person, and uh, he was a nice guy, but. It's not going to turn into a deal anytime soon. Hey, Jason, how are you? This is Ben. Wrong number, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Please leave your message for Candela Norby. been forwarded to an automatic voice message system 4078020. to bypass this message.
calling Magnolia property. Please listen carefully as our menu options and extensions have This is Paige. Yes, uh, I was looking for Jenry. Hung up. Okay, so that's pretty much the. Uh, I'm just gonna end the the uh, the video now. It's very time consuming. Uh, so cold calling is just not a very effective way to to go about this. It's just, in my opinion, it's better to get inbound uh, properties, uh, people actually reaching out to us. Or hiring somebody who can sit here all day and kind of filter through the bad numbers. And that's pretty much what the job is, finding the accurate number. And then once you get, get the accurate number, finding some sort of a sort of a pain point that might lead them to want to sell their property. And so if we do that, we will be okay. But to, you know, for us to make those cold calls, is just not going to be a very beneficial thing for us or a good use of our time so but uh that's pretty much how you do it you 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 negotiate with people ask for seller financing or ask for a discount yep uh may i speak to robert please oh thanks and then uh that'll give you the um uh the basis to 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 spread your cash around uh and then uh once those properties become income producing then you know live of that but so what i want to do is i want to make you skip all of that stuff you know let me deal with all those headaches you know of uh finding the property owners speaking to them getting yelled at or whatever what you can do is just come participate like the three deals that we got today those three deals come and participate with them you avoid all of the headaches of uh all of this calling and stuff like that and you just kind of go straight for the deals these are off-market properties that we get all the time so if you want to participate in them in those properties go ahead and contact me there's uh, information in the description below uh and uh, go ahead and reach out and we can take it from there until then i'll talk to you soon and have a good day